Hi guys, Stephen here from In Exteriors Painters and Decorators and you're watching In Exteriors TV. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a staircase makeover. So let's get this done. Here's a selection of the tools and materials that's going to be needed for this staircase makeover. We've got some primer, undercoats and top coats. We've got some wood stain. We've got a couple of paint kettles a couple of paint brushes, a dustpan and brush. We have a selection of fillers like two pack filler, an ordinary filler. We've got some Gorilla Glue, a couple of screwdrivers, posi drive and flathead. We've got an orbital sander, a nail punch, a hammer, some decorators cork, and some hardware and vinyl sheeting, and also some pliers, which I nearly forgot to mention. Now we've pulled the carpet and the gripper rod up, it's time to get all the nails out. I use a combination of a nail punch and a pair of pliers to either sink the nails or pull the nails out. Before you start sanding, it's always a good idea to double check you haven't left any nails. On this sander, I've got an 80 grit piece of sandpaper and I've also got a separate bit of 80 grit sandpaper that I use to sand the places where the electric sander can't get to. If you want to purchase this sander, please click on the link in the description below. Fill any gaps that you see with decorators cork and then fill any of the nail holes that are left over after you punch them or took the nails out with a two pack filler. I like to try and get 80% of the filling done first time round before I start painting but I will be revisiting once I've got a coat of paint on everything and then it highlight more that I will need to fill. It's a lot easier to sand this two pack filler with an orbital sander. So if you want to purchase this sander, please click in the link in the description below. Now we've sanded, it's a good idea to have a good vacuum up and a good wipe down with a damp cloth. I'm now undercoating the stringers, ready for the top coat. I will snag the bits of corking at the end. Now I'm priming the bare wood bits on the stairs. I'm now putting the finish on the stringers. Now we are ready to apply the black undercoat. I'm going to be using wood stain as the finished coat but first of all I need to obliterate all this white with a black undercoat because I know that the stain won't cover none of this white. Even though I know that the stain's going to take three or four coats on top of the undercoat I want to use the stain because I used it on my kitchen cupboards and it was it was really durable and I was really happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to use it on these stairs as well. But you can use a water based satin. I guess it just has to be anything that dries really quick. But like I say a wood stain wouldn't cover this white so I've had to obliterate it with black undercoat first. Here you can see of second field. I will just sand these and touch them up with undercoat before I start applying the wood stain. 
Now I've applied three coats of wood stain and we're ready to put the vinyl on the backs of the stairs. Here's a selection of tools that you'll need to cut and stick your vinyl on with. Just make sure that your scissors are sharp, your Stanley knife sharp and use a good quality glue. The stairs are 32 inches wide by 6.5 inches in height. I cut them about half inch bigger all round. I'm using Gorilla Glue. I have put a little bit of water in it to make it easier to brush. Then apply your vinyl sheeting, smooth it off. Then trim off the excess. And that is how to do a DIY staircase makeover. If you've got anything from this video, please like, share, subscribe. Please leave a comment down below and please hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of any future videos. Thanks for watching, much appreciated. Take care and stay safe.